就算时间老去，就算无关心意，慢慢靠近，调整呼吸，相遇而又到飞。嘉诚啊，我跟你说件事，要是我手术，有个三长两短，我就把小姐交给你了。阿姨，瞧您说的，您一定不会有事的，我一定会好好照顾小姐的。易总，易总，石姐妈妈已经开始手术了。我特意找了这方面的专家，应该没什么大问题。义清东那边有什么动静？义清东，义清东最近在跟一些地产基金联系，看样子是想找人合作。对了，我听说他最近去了趟青林。青林，嗯，他的嗅觉够敏锐的。看来他已经知道我们要干什么了。可是青林的计划是您接手格兰城以后才开始规划的，不能掉以轻心。你放心吧，我一定会盯死他。嗯嗯，我答应过阿姨，一定要等他手术结束后的。可是这边做手术也没个准点，你要是再不走，飞机可不会等你啊。我飞师姐，你不用担心，有消息我们第一时间告诉你。行了，你们就别劝我了，我答应过阿姨，一定等她手术结束才走的。哎呀，你们就别劝她了，还有时间，你让她在这待着吧。哎、医生，医生，手术怎么样了？手术还算顺利。该切除的地方都已经切除了，淋巴结也清扫过了，目前没有看到更多扩散的迹象。一会儿啊，你们陪着病人到病房就可以了。谢谢孙医生。不客气。好了，阿姨定会没事的。咳咳嘉诚，时间来不及了，赶紧走吧，我去开车了。那我不能送你去了。有事随时给我打电话，等着我从英国回来。嗯真是不经念，说曹操，曹操就到。哎呀，这么巧啊！我说最近也是奇怪，在哪儿都能碰上你。你不会也是去英国吧？高燕飞，嗯，这我平常怎么没看出来？你还挺聪明的。不是，你还真去英国啊？去伦敦啊？怎么，只许你们去英国，我不能去吗？放心吧，我订的是头等舱，不会碰到的。我男朋友还在英国等我呢。恕不奉陪。不是我说你俩真的是不是冤家不聚头，怎么老狭路相逢呢？你说他去英国是不是为了你啊？还整出一男朋友来，就为了在你面前嘚瑟吧？他想做什么是他自己的事情，跟我无关。你回去以后千万别告诉世简遇到小青的事，这个时候他不能分心，我害怕他多想。好，放心吧。走了，走吧
，妈，你醒了。孙医生他说你手术非常成功，所以你不用担心了。嘉诚，可能已经到英国了吧？嘉诚啊，他是等着你手术成功之后才敢去的机场。他很担心你，在机场他也给我发信息，问你怎么样了。这下好了，你的白马王子走了。这两天呢？只有跟妈妈在医院里混了。妈，就知道开我玩笑。<笑>感觉怎么样？累不累啊？做这么长时间的手术，肯定很辛苦吧？<笑>别说话了，好好睡一觉，我在这儿陪着你。喂，文文，你跑去哪儿了？你是不是从疗养院跑出去了？我在博客给你留言，你都不回我，你该不会是跑去雪山滑雪了吧？哎，你可别忘了，你走的时候是怎么答应我的？喂喂喂喂喂，我都还没有审问你，你就一个一个问题来问我，老实回答我。你是不是把叶嘉诚搞定了？啊？啊，在博客上净看你们俩秀恩爱了，烦死人了。你到底去哪儿了？什么时候回来？我现在正在英国呢，正要去冰岛。哎呀，反正也没有真心人在等我回去啊，我去哪儿还不都一样？四海之内皆是我家。哎，说不定要是哪天心血来潮，我突然回去也不一定。你别忘了，你跟易总可是有婚约的。还婚约呢？从来欧洲到现在就一个电话都没给我打，这婚约跟废纸一样。哎，你跟易总不是说恋爱未满互不干扰的吗？你什么时候开始在乎他有没有给你打电话？啊，你走的时候说的那番话，我就有点感觉到画风突变哦。哇塞，这世界也太小了吧！哎，你猜猜我见到谁了？谁呀？你的男神叶嘉诚。哦，我都忘记告诉你了，他正好要去英国参加一个设计比赛。还竟然能碰到，也太巧了吧！哎，他这身边这女的看着好眼熟啊。女的？好像你之前是不是给我看过她照片？叫什么名字来着？宋小金。哦，是是是是是是，怪不得那么眼熟呢。哎，不是，他他怎么会在那儿呢？我怎么知道啊？哎呀，你不用担心了，反正已经都是你的人了。不过你还是得加油啊。毕竟人家相处的时间长。哦，行了，等我回来吧。不说了，拜拜。嗯，拜拜哎，小姐，你能听到我说话吗？听到了，听到了。对了，阿姨她的身体怎么样了？都挺好的，她刚才睡醒的时候还问到你呢，问你怎么样。你呢，在那儿还顺利吗？在路上有没有遇到什么事情啊？我挺好的，你不用担心我，我刚刚已经到酒店了。这段时间啊，要麻烦你尽量给我发邮件了。这里也和国内有时差的，我不能保证每天跟你视频通话。还有，我告诉你啊。这里的网费真的好贵啊！你知道吗？赵文文今天也在英国，他刚才还在机场看到你了呢。啊？赵文文？他在哪里看到我了？他只是看到你的背影，但他急着要去赶飞机，所以就没有跑过去跟你打招呼。哦，小金，我想现在就飞回去，陪在你和阿姨的身边。我刚一离开，就已经开始想你了。我也是。我保证，这边事情一完，我一定搭最早那班飞机飞回去。
我不在这段时间，一定要照顾好自己啊。嗯，不好意思。喂，呢？我得走了，记得这段时间给我发邮件啊。OK， 拜拜，拜拜宋小晶为什么会跟嘉诚在一个航班上面？他去英国干嘛？难道他还没有放弃嘉诚，想趁我不在把嘉诚追回来？哎呀，不可能，不可能！除非他疯了，嘉诚不会搭理他的。可是嘉诚为什么没有提到宋小晶呢？他回避了我的问题，难道是怕我担心？可是他不说，我反而更担心啊。嘉诚才离开我不到一天的时间，我现在满脑子萦绕的全都是他。叶总。手术还算顺利吧，但是具体还得看后续的治疗和情况。我让张凯给你请了义工，白天夜里靠你一个人，不现实。这样你坚持不了多久，身体受不了。千万不要跟我说，没关系，我可以的。谢谢你的关心之类的废话。现在最重要的，是你妈妈的身体，你是她的精神支柱，你。不可以有任何状况。还有，我也不希望你抵押货款去炒股。放心，钱我一分都不会少要，将来从你的工资里面扣。真的很谢谢你，易总。嗯。嘉诚去了英国，什么时候回来？具体时间。还不知道，还得看组委会那边的安排吧。他又不是不回来了，你看你担心成什么样子了？宋小晶和他同一个航班去了伦敦，我我不知道他为什么会会一块儿去。不不不不不，你是担心宋小晶会趁虚而入，夺走你的叶嘉诚，是吗？你们的感情就那么不牢靠吗？对叶嘉诚要有信心，对自己也要有信心。好了，别胡思乱想了。这几天你不用去上班了，有什么事情给张凯打电话。不，是给我打电话。别什么事情我都是最后知道的。你答应过我Hi there. Hello. I'm here to register. My name is Ye. Yeah. Ye Jiacheng. Ye. Mr. Ye. You have a fellow Chinese designer taking part in this competition. Yeah? Yes, she just registered. Over there. Your design is really good. 
I agree. Why? Did you see me? Are you surprised? You won't forget so quickly, right? This tournament was the one that we had to participate in with my dad. But now, it looks like you don't have any desire to join me. 只是没想到你会对这种比赛也有兴趣了。让我把你的心里话帮你说出来吧。你是觉得我没有资格跟你同台较量是吧？小静，你为什么总是要这个样子？我们每一次见面，你一定要把话题搞得针锋相对的，一定要把场面搞得这么尴尬吗？是谁把场面搞得这么尴尬？你心里比我更清楚。这位是，亲爱的。这位就是大名鼎鼎的叶嘉诚。这位是我的未婚夫，刚刚在建筑设计院得到建筑师的工作，陈科。原来你就是叶嘉诚，久仰大名。看来你没少听我的故事吧？请问，你是 Mr. Ye？ 是，是我。我是 Richard， 我是负责这场比赛。好，见到你 ，Richard。好，见到你，先生。好，见到你，先生。好，见到你，先生。好，见到你，先生。好，见到你，先生。好，见到你，先生。好，见到你，先生。好，见到你，先生。好，见到你，先生。好，见到你，先生。好，见到你，先生。好，见到你，先生。好，见到你，先生。好，见到你，先生。好，见到你，先生。好，见到你，先生。好，见到你，先生。好，见到你，先生。好，见到你，先生。好，见到你，先生。好，见到你，先生。好，见到你，先生。好，见到你，先生。好，见到你，先生。好，见到你，先生。好，见到你，先生。好，见到你，先生。好，见到你，先生。好，见到你，先生。好，见到你，先生。好，见到你，先生。好，见到你，先生。好，见到你，先生。好，见到你，先生。好，见到你，先生。好just like Ludwig Schmidt's Wonder Rock insisted when technology made its true deed. It becomes art. This property is the best definition to define high-tech architecture. To be honest, I really like your work, Mr. Ye. The performance of visual tension is impressive. And from your design, we can see the application of glass walls and adjusting natural lighting. The whole building is really like a genius bird, swift, elegant, Attractive and very detailed. And what's more, it's perfect for a, a densely populated city. Which reminds me. Reminds you of the Artitoria Pactyla? Yes, precisely. <laughs> Thank you. My works has always do influenced by Rizzo Piano. Through his works, you can almost find every aspect of architecture. The application of his indisciplinary idea in modern building has always makes his work back to the essentials, i.e. humanization. Well, that's the reason why I like your work. The ingenious bird is vivid and artistic. It's really impressive you were able to use glass to imitate the feathers. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Absolutely. Hi, Bobby. Did you hear me? I heard you. Hi. Hey, I'm telling you. 你都不知道我今天有多开心！理查德当面称赞我灵鸟的设计，他说我的设计就如同齐名，富有灵性，富有极端的表现力。我当时超开心，我跟你说，我差一点就原形毕露了。就这个。或许我的归来真的可以改变这个结果，毕竟长镜的命运已经被我改变了，不是吗？也许这次加长真的能获奖。哎，我告诉你啊。如果我能赢这个比赛，这个比赛的奖金，你就先全都拿去给阿姨治病吧。虽然可能没有多少，但是，毕竟能够解一时之患嘛。那明天就要做最后的阐述了，有没有紧张呀？你就放心吧，我脑子里面啊，已经背得滚瓜烂熟了。你就祈祷，我明天上台之后，不要直接栽个狗吃屎。哎，我给你做了那个伦敦旅行攻略，怎么样啊？哎，真的，从机场到酒店，我一分钟都没有耽误，你真的神了。我打算等一下去试一下你给我推荐的那家餐厅。哎，对了，千万不能去隔壁那家哦，要不然黑暗料理绝对会刷新你的新认知的。哇，好恐怖的！哎，对了，有没有想念谁呀、啊？想念谁？没，谁谁啊？不许装傻。<笑>那你想听真话还是假话呀？<笑><笑>
当然真话了。真话？没有哎。那我也不想你了。没有才怪！我的小笼包，我都快想死你了。嘿嘿嘿嘿。Good morning, sir. Good morning. I'd like to take a look at this pair of foxes. Thank you. Ah, uh, the foxes. Yeah. Yeah, Jia Chong. You are from China, correct? Yes. Did you create the project Ingenious Bird by yourself? Yes, sir. We would like to listen to your presentation now, please. Thank you. Finally, can go home. If this hospital stays, my hair will grow out. Um, home is not care about you. I have to work. 你还得治疗，在医院我还能再放心一点。哎呀，有什么关系啊？我又不缺胳膊少腿的，我从来就没有让人照顾过，一辈子都没有被人伺候过。再说了，我都打听过了，小雪虽然照顾的不错，可是我告诉你，她在护工里头的工资是最高的，花了那么多钱，我心疼。哎呀妈，钱的事儿你就不用担心了，那你就不用担心我啦。医院都熟了，我自己一个人治疗没问题。姐，你就放心吧，我现在还没开学呢，我没事的时候就过来陪阿姨，对吧，阿姨？嗯、乖。<笑>易总，易总，阿姨，你好，你好，易总。八阿姨，易总知道您今天出院，特地把所有的事情都给推了，来送您回家。易总，晚上不是还要招待客人吗？啊，正好顺路。耶，那那怎么好意思呢？你看，呃，我们小姐都说了，在您手下工作呀，哎呀，学到了不少东西啊。而且呢，你对她很照顾。妈，我什么时候说了？我一直以为，她对我有的，只是意见。发姨，您恢复的怎么样？小薛照顾的，您还满意吗？哦，薛护工是易总安排的人。原来是，哎呀，这怎么好意思呢？这真是非常非常感谢。方阿姨，如果您觉得满意的话，我建议您让他继续照顾您。毕竟您刚刚做完手术，还需要治疗，还需要恢复，尸检呢也需要工作，家里有个人照应着，嗯，总归是好事。啊，费用方面呢，您就不用操心了。哎呦，那怎么好意思呢？不好意思，小姐，不可以，不可以。石姐是易茂的员工，易茂的员工有困难，我们义不容辞。对。走
，俏俏，没事，有空来家里，阿姨给你做饭啊、嗯。好的，阿姨。哎，出院手续办好了。哎，是的，孙医生。哎，张先生，你怎么也来了？我去取车。啊，回家啊，多注意休息，下周还要做化疗呢。好的，谢谢。我走了。谢谢医生啊。孙医生和张凯他们俩认识啊？这不应该是我了解的范畴。阿姨，嗯，走吧。好的。And that about concludes of my design shape for the genius bird. Thank you all for your time. Mr. Yan, I have to ask you one more time. Did you create this project all by yourself? Yes, sir. Spending total three years designing the third form scratchers. Mr. Yan, have you ever taken other works as your reference? No, absolutely not, sir. This project was designed under the influence of my personal idol. That's not what I meant. What I mean is, have you used other people's work as your reference? I don't understand. Is the committee plans that my project is referred? Who has participated in your design? Has your design participated in any real estate project? Okay. I like to clarify that the genius bird is my design. I don't understand why I'm being questioned. Mr. Ye, the problem is that your submission overlaps with the submissions of two other competitors by almost 80%. So we have to figure out what the problem is. I beg, I beg your pardon? No, this is my design. I drew this myself. It turns out that the other two competitors are also from China, Miss Song and Mr. Chen. Do you know them? Have you ever communicated with them? This work originated from my graduate design. It was considered to participate in bidding for government project, but cancelled. And yes, Song, she was my girlfriend back then. The project is well known to her, but she had no further interaction during the design phase of the project. Can you provide any proof that you worked on this project alone? Did you register the copyright? No, I did not register the copyright. I have trouble believing this. Yeah. Look, I did not know the thing were going to turn out like this, but it did keep all the schedule from the design phase. You will need more than that.看评委的反馈，这次的奖我们是十拿九稳了。孙小姐，你为什么要这么做？怎么了？我不知道你在说什么。这个作品有史至终都是我的设计方案，林鸟是以我的毕业作品衍生而来的，这点你清清楚楚
。得奖啊，你别做梦了。我知道，你现在仍然在生气，你心里边仍然没有过去，但你不能用这么极端、这么不理智的方式去处理啊。叶嘉诚，你别自恋了。我们两个人早就结束了。我现在已经有未婚夫了，我犯得着跟你生气吗？那你为什么要这么做？你这么做对你来说有什么好处吗？我就喜欢做损人不利己的事情。怎么，你才发现啊？是啊，我才发现，原来你内心这么没有底线，这么黑暗。你是不是还想说我卑鄙无耻下流？恭喜你说对了，叶嘉诚，我现在正式通知你，灵鸟的版权我在国内已经登记注册了。灵鸟是我的，这个比赛呢，你不能带着他继续参加了，你的灵鸟已经飞了。我们的参赛作品可是我跟陈科共同的创意和想法。陈浩清，你凭什么？灵鸟是我一手设计的，你凭什么把它注册成你自己的？谁又可以证明那是你的呢？这是我们两个之间的事情，跟你有什么关系？当然跟我有关系了。这灵鸟也是我的。叶嘉诚，你现在呢，彻底可以跟你的灵鸟说再见了。你怎么会变成今天这个样子？ He just upstairs. We can give him a big surprise. 谢嘉诚，我今天这个样子怎么了？陈小青，你知道你现在有多么的丑陋吗？我，叶嘉诚，你有什么资格指责小静？你不要以为小静曾经喜欢过你，你就可以任意妄为。你移情别恋也就算了，这个作品你还要跟小静争？我现在警告你，离小静远一点，再靠近。Officer Luke, this man he started the fight. I was self-defense. Is that true? Yes, it's true. Hey, Officer Luke, this man he started the fight. I was self-defense. Is that true? Yes, it's true. They all contested the fight for me. I accuse him of international danger. Stay calm, sir. I have to cuff you. Tell me what happened. Otherwise, I can only assume he is telling the truth. Look, the lady was there. She saw everything. She saw the bastard beat me. Excuse me, young lady. Were you here? Yes, I was here. Sorry, sir. I have no idea who started fighting. I only saw they were arguing. Thank you for your cooperation. Chen Ke, you're welcome. Let's go. If it's Xiao Jing, I'll definitely not let you go. Don't be so crazy. Otherwise, I'll have to put you in prison. 干杯！嗯，盯着我看干嘛？我脸上有奇怪的东西吗？哎，好困呐！今天也辛苦你了，你早点回去吧。困啦？来，再喝点就不困了。我们提提精神哈，你给我如实找来。助理妈妈出院，老总亲自派人接送，出钱出力请护工。你们衣帽的员工福利也太好了吧，好的令人发指呀！想说什么呀你？我怎么觉得这传说中的易先生对你格外关心、格外照顾呢？他不会是对你有意思吧？你们俩没发生点什么？你想什么呢？这怎么可能啊？人家易总可是有赵文文的，他俩是恋爱未满啊。赵文文可以喜欢上别人，易贝就不能喜欢上你吗？他看你的眼神跟看别人不一样。你这么聪明，应该不会没有察觉吧？你这个八卦的眼睛啊，看谁都有问题。易总他那冰块脸，能喜欢上任何人吗？就连那赵大小姐，她都不带动心、不带动情的。你呀，就别浪费你的想象力了，乖。
，魏不贤知的你呀、啊，老实交代，你跟易佩在遥远的未来，真的一点瓜葛都没有啊！哎，言情小说看多了是不是？我又不是灰姑娘，他也不是喜欢灰姑娘的王子，我们俩啊，就是在不交叉的平行线上面 ，OK？ 命运，不是让你俩交叉了吗？这叫缘分呐、啊！你可给我打住，这些话别给我们家家成听见。我可不想让我们家小佳佳吃醋。嘿呦，我怎么就不能说了？我这样说是帮了你，说不定让他提高警觉，对你更好一点呢。反正我就是觉得，易总对你就是不一般。哼。Mr. Ye, we have a very strong suspicion of plagiarism. We have to remain impartial. Unfortunately, you are disqualified. Your disputation with Mr. Chen Ke has already brought negative influences on this competition. We don't want any more trouble. You are free to go now. Come in. Richard. Mr. Ye, I really do like your work in Genius Bird. But unfortunately, there's nothing I can do for you at this time. The committee simply cannot judge a piece that has copyright issues. Look, Richard, you know that she did this intentionally. Xiao Ji wants to kick me out of this competition. This project took me three years with heart and soul. I cannot quit on this moment. I totally understand you. And it might be a mistake. She might be trying to get you kicked out. But the plain fact is, it, until the issue gets resolved, the committee simply cannot make a judgment. So my advice is to get your legal resources together to prove that you, Ye Jia Cheng, are the one and only creator of Ingenious Bird. Uh, I can't think of anything at this moment. I still got to trust the right. The Chinese have a saying. The wise man knows he knows nothing. The fool thinks he knows everything. My advice, for your own good, is you'd get this issue resolved as soon as you can, because you already know that news spreads very fast. See you next time.